Shit, dog, where's my mouse? Also, we back, we back. Welcome to your turn to die. A game where it's your turn to die. It's me, Pegasus the Gamer. Oh, shit, I can't look at chat. Oh, fuck, hold on. This is an issue, actually. I'll have to set it up in such a way that I can look at chat. There you go, that works. God fucking damn it. Okay. Here we go. Now we can begin the game. I... The controller was working before. There we go. It just took a minute, I guess. Did the game die? Why is this window encased in yellow? Everything is working horribly. The window's just not happening. Play the game. Why the fuck is my mouse capturing? What is happening with anything? What the fuck? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Where the hell is my taskbar? I can't open the game because my taskbar is gone. I'm just trapped. I can't do anything. I guess I could play the game through capture. Hiya. Yeah. It's a random question. Do you know what a majority vote is? Helpful to start conversations with an easy question. Oh, there's my taskbar. Everything is running horribly. What the fuck? It's a browser game. My taskbar is fucking gone again. What the fuck? I 
I hate majority votes. Way to silence the minority. It only makes more. Ah, some like the sounds like they're having some tedious argument. Incidentally, whose opinion do you support, Miss Blue or Mr. Reds? Mr. Blue, Miss Reds. Mr. Blue was the one who liked majority votes, right? Oh, ah, uh, she died. But good for you. Your opinion had more supporters. Hey, Streamlabs, can we, can we, can we? Thank you. In the end, the majority is absolute. That's how it goes when you live in a society. Holy shit, it's Joker. Hmm, what's with that look? If you'd known the other person would die, you wouldn't have voted? Sheesh, that won't get you anywhere, okay? That isn't what the game's all about. You don't look pleased, huh? Alright, if you insist, let's hold a vote. Your opinion versus mine. And yeah, then let's go. What the fuck? Holy shit, I got hands! Look at my hands, bro! Um... Okay... Okay. Ugh. I had a weird dream. My jaw is sore. So I was sleeping with my head on my desk. This all the 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 this late already? I have to go home. Better hurry. Whoa, it's gone completely dark. Touch spots that look interesting to navigate and investigate. Campus Pond. Was it rumored that if you look into it at midnight, your reflection will talk to you? Could be a great thing to a loner. Lights are on. Maybe it's the guard. Thanks for your tireless service. Seeing the school like this, it feels totally different at night. The lights. I have to walk home when it's dark. I already looked at the campus pond. Front gate of the school. Can't go home without going through it. I don't want to leave yet. Well, what else is there? Um... Oh, it's a guy. Someone's there. Oh, it's that guy. What you doing, Sarah? Yo, dude, what you doing, Sarah? Joe? Joe Tazuna, or rather, Joe, my classmate at school. We often found ourselves together. You stuck around this late for clubs? I was gonna wither up for waiting. Well, it's fine. Listen, there's something I want to tell you. Something to tell me? Life, thanks.
thanks for what I wonder. Oh, you know, you introduced us, right? Me and Ryoko. Right. She's such a good girl. I'm moved. Cute, huh? Adorable. And I saw her swallow a donor kebab whole today. She's a real glutton to boot. A whole donor kebab? What the fuck is a donor kebab? Wait, you went on a date? <laughs> was on it till just a second ago. I came back to school so I could brag about it to you. You should have just gone home. All right, bragging complete. Let's go home, Sarah. And then, Ryoko and I finally... How long even is this story? You listening? We made huge progress. This guy's such a panic. Did you kiss or what? Kid, don't be stupid. Doing that on the first date, they call people like that monsters. We held hands. Outrageous progress, right? I mean, it was mostly that I fell in a ditch she was helping me out, but... For how, for how gaudy you look, you're awfully shy. Huh? Gaudy, this ain't. I'm hurt, man. That seriously gets to me. Damn it, maybe I should go back to a crew cut like in middle school. And now he started moping. A faint street light illuminates the area. A poster warning to watch out for strangers. Barely ever walked home at this hour. It feels really dark. What's up? Wanna hold hands? Eh? Yeah, sure. On second thought, you probably crushed me with that amazing grip of yours. Nah, forget it, Sarah. It's not like I'm boasting about it. But real talk, wouldn't it help things if you got a boyfriend? No. And just like that, it gets serious. You can't sleep, right? Because you're stalker? Is that why you always go home with me? The dummy, I just wanted to brag. Thank you. For what, man? Well, if you just feel like being grateful, I won't stop ya. Hee hee. Hee hoo. Hee hoo hee hoo. Oh hoo 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 hoo. Alright, let's mosey along now. You're p let's mosey along now, partner. <laughs> Your parents will be worried if you're late. Right. Oh no. To run. Joe, run. Huh? <sighs> huh? Phew. We made it home. It's okay. Should be fine now that we're here. Joe. I'm scared. So scared, am I gonna... What if he kills me someday? I'm not gonna let that happen, okay? Joe? Call on me anytime. I'll come with a boatload of freshmen. That guy was staring. And it seems like... He was trying to talk to me? What? Well, your parents are waiting, Sarah. Yeah. Hey, Joe. Thank you. It's all good. See you tomorrow at school. Okay, I guess I'll go in. Hmm? The house lights aren't on. My good old front door. 
The door's unlocked. Let me through the window, but the lights aren't on. House nameplate. Fancy lamp lights up the front porch. So it's not a power outage. It's dark. Why aren't the lights on? I don't know. Pretty ooky spooky. Mom? Dad? Are you home? The living room. Normally, Mom would be in there watching TV and waiting for me. Uh, this is your turn to die. Back door of my parents' room. Here's the bathroom. It's locked. Who came in and locked the door to my room? Not Dad, right? The plant's fallen over. Yeah, it's a, it's a visual novel. Something's weird about the house. It's pitch black. This is bizarre. There can't be no one here. I'll turn on the lights. The light switch. Turn on lights. I have a bad feeling. Still turn on lights. Okay, turning them on. Oh shit, she's dead. Mom? Mom! Mom, mom! She's fucking dead, dude! Holy shit! There's a key on the floor. Obtained room key. Why is this here? Mom, hang in there! She's breathing. It looks like she fainted. There's a fucking pool of blood under her! She's losing blood! She's fucking dead! There's no way she makes it out of this alive! Photo from Philly trip to Hokkaido. Alright, let's just go back to my room and open it. And see... Sarah! Joe! Please help! My mom collapsed! Stay calm! Did you call the hospital? The cops? Not yet. I need I need to call. I'll handle it. Listen, Sarah, you need to be calm. Just started to make a call. What am I doing? I'm all out of sorts, but I need to do something. Something. Let's go to my room and unlock it with the room key. It's locked. Room key. I'll open it. Use the room key. The door opened. Dad? Dad, are you here? Mom collapsed. Dad, where are... What the fuck? Your turn to die. Death game by majority. Presented by Nankadai. Where is this, I wonder? Am I looking at the ceiling? Why am I sleeping here? I'm Sarah, an incredibly normal person attending school. Good, start with what you know best. Alright, I think I went home. Right, and then Mom! Mom! I quickly tried to sit up, but I couldn't. Is there something on my head? Touch it to check. Briefly touched my head. It was some kind of belt or machine. Am I tied to it? It's like I'm being restrained. No way. <clears throat> What's the meaning of this? <clears throat> <laughs> my temperature rose. Suddenly, fear awakened in me. No! Where is this? Somebody! 
I had no freedom to move. Besides my head, my left arm, torso, and legs also seemed to be restrained. All I could do was move my right arm. Someone! I was about to scream, then went quiet. The stalker, he harmed my mom, and he brought me here. I wonder, am I going to be killed? Yeah, probably. Sarah, are you there? That voice. Joe, is that you? Are you next to me? Yeah, but I can't move. Can't you do something? Joe's in the same situation? A phone? Search pocket. I don't have a free hand, but found nothing. Joe, is that yours ringing? Eh? You're right. Something in my pockets. Here. Hello? Whoever you are, help us! Beginning voiced guidance. Huh? The first trial will now begin. Sarah and Joe, find the key hidden in this room. Then remove your restraints. If you cannot do so before the time limit expires, the device on the beds will activate, and your bodies will be crushed with a thud. By all means, please enjoy this thrill with all of your body and soul. The time limit is a healthy five minutes. And note that there is only one key, so please discuss who will use it. What the heck is this? The first trial? We'll die in five minutes. Wow, what are we going to do? There's no time to fret about that. We have found nothing. Joe, check your clothes. Yikes. When I took my phone from the pocket, I might have dropped something. No way, pick it up. Got it. Grabbed it. It's the key. All right. Give me that key. Joe, give that key to me. Well, what are you saying? There's only one key? Ah. Uh, one of us will die? Give me that key. Joe, give that key to me. I guess I have to hurry and use that key. You sure? If I do, you'll... The voice is telling the truth, I might die. But... Joe, I'm sure you can figure something out. Got it! I'll use it. I'll save you too, definitely. I wanted to make him let me use it, because fuck him, I don't care. I want to live. Self-preservation. Damn it, that took some time. I need to save Sarah somehow. I didn't mean to save, but sure. Sandpaper hangs on the ceiling. What use is this stupid thing? Knock, what should I do? Too big to fit. He 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 he. Oh shit, okay. I don't know what the fuck to do. Thanks for following Goku Sun sixty
Well, it's a green key and I got a red, it's got a red red sim stuck to it. It's great for what maybe it could be very it's a red key. And Joe, please, Sarah, commencing with execution. Help me, Joe. And then she dies and the game ends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Game's over. I was playing as that girl, so game over. Uh, Alright, well, time to load the time. Now that I know what to do, let's try that one again. I get to try the key and shit. Look at Sarah. The sandpaper. Look at the key. Green lock. Red key. It's unlocked. Really? I'll remove these now. Well, that voice came out weird. <sighs> Thank you, Joe. Can you stand? There's a door here. Let's get out of here pronto. Ah, wait, Joe. Damn it, it's pitch black. I can't see a thing. Oh no, I can't see a thing. Uh, go along the wall. Left is a, left is a dead end. Seems we can only go right. I mean it, Sarah. Don't let us get separated, dude. Bro. Right. We kept it going straight ahead. We walked. We didn't see any light. We... See me a very, very long highway. Maybe we ain't very much at all. Joe, use the phone for light. That phone you used earlier. Could you try using that to light the way? Nice one, Sarah. Man, you're smart. Did you bring it? Oh, I left it back there. Guess that's that then. Hmm, what can give us some light? We're touching ourselves and suddenly. Whoa, whoa! Wah! Wind blowing from underneath? My feet left the ground. Am I flying up? No, we're... falling? The floor gave way. Eek! How long? How high? How far are we falling? I feel my sense is growing distant. Hey, get up! Hello. You can't sit there stupefied forever, miss. Eh? Where is this? Beats me. Ah! I'm alive. I'm not even hurt. People. Who the hell are you guys? Where even is this? Like we've got any idea ourselves. Calm down, lady. Is there no one here who can explain? Just what is going on? How troubling. They seem too distracted to take any notice of me. What in the world is happening? Discussion happening centered around a single man. Now hold on a second. We should confirm what each of us knows. That's all well and good, but I don't even know where this is. I had quite a terrible ex experience earlier, so I can't remain calm. <laughs> they seem pretty confused. Huh? 
Joe? He's also wearing one of these collars. With a shiver, I touched my own neck. There was something. A collar? Can't get it off. Everyone here had a collar put on them. And an especially restless woman. Grab, we've been abducted by some crazy assholes. Quiet now. Don't scream in my ear. Woof. Hey, hey now. Fighting's no good. I can feel the tension in the air. Is even a grade school age kid? I turn around the middle. Man in the middle continues. Joe's there too, but he can't get a word in. Really calmer people are talking on the left. What's going on? It feels like we're wrapped up in something outrageous. Yes, it would appear- Oh no, this is not a girl. Yes, it would appear so. Huh? Have I seen this person somewhere? Uh. The girl swatting seemed terribly frightened. Did something happen? Discussion is still going on. Finally, my head was starting to clear. Eleven people here, including myself. All of us are wearing collars. Why isn't Joe coming over to me? Has he not noticed I'm awake? Joe! Good, so you're okay. Who are you? What? What kind of joke was that? What are you saying? I'm Sarah. Did you get your own friend's face? Don't tell me. you seriously saying he doesn't know me or something? Could you be the Sarah who's a terrible swimmer? What? J Joe! This isn't the time for jokes. My bad. My bad. <laughs> hmm. Joe and Sarah, huh? You two are friends. Eh? Y yes, we are. Thanks, thanks for that. Joe wasn't here, wasn't speaking up, see? Must have been wary of something. Wouldn't even tell me his name. Alright, everybody, listen up. I bet we're all thinking the same thing. What is this place? Why was I brought here? And about all you know is who you are. What are you getting at, I wonder? How about we give introductions? Should ease the suspicion a little, at least. Introductions, you say? Not a whole lot else we can do. Am I right, Sarah? Huh? You're asking me? I support it. Sounds like a good plan. True. I want to clear up our situation. See? The calm ones know what to say. Okay, once you're ready, it's introduction time. Just tell me when, Sarah. Right then, time to give introductions? Sure, why not? Okie dokie. Okie dokie literature club. <laughs> I'll be here all week, everybody. Even if you don't want me to be. Oh, we gotta find out who these people are. Yeah, so then I think we should all get to know each other a little more. Yeah, so mom tells me not to give personal info to same guys I don't know. Woof. Stupendous. A level-headed child who does what his parents teach him. Yet this is indeed an emergency. Mm. Then we must prove that we adults are not suspicious characters. <laughs> uh, super suspicious. Woof. Nothing for it. Well, where should we start? Hey, you can keep it simple. Name and occupation. Just take turns saying them. That's the ticket. <laughs> hmm, got it. The wary ones could be for later. Raise your hand if you don't mind blabbing. Development. Hello, I am Kazumi Mishima. I teach at a certain high school. Muhahaha. 
I'm definitely not the bad guy. Not at all. <laughs> You're a school teacher? Oof. The world's going to the dogs. Meow. Boo-hoo. Name's R Rico Yabusume- Sam- B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-B-
I'll introduce myself. There's nothing guilty about us. Well, excuse me. It's time to cool down, yes? Should I ask for some machine or something? Hmm, I don't recall... I don't recall learning anyone's eye. I see. Of course. Surely there have been several times where I've been disliked by students, but... No, no student would cause such an incident. So I'd like to believe... For after all, as you can see, I even have students who come to visit me after graduation. <laughs> I believe we made it through the first trial thanks to our combined knowledge as well. The first trial? I'm Kutaro Burgerberg, baseball player. Yeah, I'm a baseball player, but if you work out too much and hit hurt yourself, you'll never make the big leagues. Even among this bunch, this guy stands out. What dialogue is that? No kidding. What is it indeed? I grew up in a strange orphanage, so probably it's a mix of a whole bunch. I was in Japan, so that's my nationality. Parents left when I was little, though. And I don't know where I was born. Ain't nothing can't be fixed if you don't talk it out. Incidentally, I believe baseball has positions. I'm a pitcher. Confident in my batting, too, and I was lucky enough to go to the Central League. I don't really follow, but does that mean you're good at both throwing the ball and hitting it with the bat? Well, yeah, that that's right. I don't know baseball either, but he seems pretty proud of his strength. I was all happy but after a long incoming comeback game, so I went drinking, but I don't remember a thing. Then when I wake up, I got a collar on and in this place. Like I'm a dog or something. Such a... <sighs> Such a bummer. I can't believe I can't get this thing off. Even his strength can't remove it. Still in no condition to talk. What about you? I'm Kai Soto, a rather unremarkable homemaker. Mm, my best meal is Eggs Benedict. A chef, huh? No, not a chef, but a homemaker. Akin to a house husband. Same difference if you both make tasty food. I suppose so. I feel like I've met this person somewhere. Do you know me? Ah, it's fine. If you don't remember, it must just be me. Miss Sarah? Huh, you do know me? I simply heard your name earlier. So it's our first meeting, after all. I feel like I've met him somewhere, but talking to him, it doesn't feel that way at all. Is it just my imagination? Perhaps I should discard... Perhaps I should discard my footwear. Hmm, but it could be useful for something. At the least, I bet I could make Ace Benedict. Yeah, I'd remember if I met such a weirdo. I'm, I'm a former student of Professor Mishima's, currently in an art college. My name is now Agakoro. It's thanks to the Professor Mishima that I attend an art college now. This is a good person. Please believe me. Sarah! I, I'm not especially doubting it. Yep, just, just Mr. Policeman here who suspected him. Then please repent! Sure, Professor Pina's up business. So you so you understand. In that case, my work here is done. And that's something too. The first drop. I love the music drops. The first trial. It was terrifying. It was a game where we were tied to the beds, and had to escape with just one key. That's the same thing we did. I, Professor Mishima, instructed me to use the sandpaper on the key. Then I unlocked his restraints. Honestly, it's thanks to him that I was able to stay calm. Trust. Was that a game that evaluated trust? Why would the culprit make us do that? Were they watching? Watching a despicable game that toys a person's lives, the people's lives. 
Sarah, are you okay? You look angry. I'm fine. I don't like that policeman, but I kind of like... Oh, no, that's now. I don't like that policeman, but I kind of like you, Sarah. Eh? Well, I don't like you. Shut up. Please take care of your friend. <sighs> huh? Did I not introduce myself? My name's Keiji Shinagi. Working as a policeman. Huh? Police? You got it, so don't trouble your friendly policeman. Well, not that I'm really that sort of cop. Then you should have mentioned that sooner. I got abducted in the middle of an investigation. It was tough to find a chance to spill it. Shouldn't have been wary. Damn it. Wonder if we got caught by a cr that criminal group. Criminal group. A group of petty thieves. I doubt they're related to this, honestly. Is your co-worker co -worker not here? Sure isn't. So it's not like everyone came in pairs. Me and Sarah are high school classmates. Sarah was being harassed by a stalker, so I went home with her that day. And there was an incident, so I called the police, but I heard Sarah screaming, so I ran upstairs. And there stood that damn stalker. Huh? That's the first I've heard of that. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to mention it. So I worked up all my courage to punch the guy. Of course, I'm lawful at fighting, so since I don't remember winning, I'm guessing I lost. That's why I know that stalker is the culprit in this case. Interesting. Go on. Sorry, that's all I got. Since I fainted. Then again, this isn't a stunt just one jerk stalker could pull by himself. It's an organized crime, right, Mr. Cop? <sighs> could be. Wonder if there's one among us. A collaborator with the culprit, playing victim to blend in. Eh? Hearing Joe say that, I understood. I had been so wary and acting so strange. Ha ha ha. What is it? You want to laugh? You can't say there isn't. You sure are funny. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I hate this guy. Collaborator with the culprit? Maybe there could be something like that. I should introduce myself too soon, huh? Fine, I can read the room. Woof. It's, you know, the mature response. Meow. I can read the room too. Meow. My name's Gimme Bashui. Ooh, I'm a, I'm a sixth grader. Meow. Great introduction, kiddo. Don't call me a kid. I just introduced myself because you guys don't seem like anything special. Woof. Do you remember anything about why you were brought to this place? Woof! Nope. Mom was late coming home, so I stayed up to wait. I heard the intercom, so I thought she was back and opened the door. Meow! Different grown-up was standing there. Meow! Don't remember anything else. Woof! I see. Jin. Don't give me those looks. Meow. Woof. I'm a strong boy. Meow. He's acting tough, but he must be scared. Of course. Meow. Don't think I'm just a regular kid. Woof. I'll definitely make those kidnappers pay. Meow. Hmm, you might be right, Jin. Lots to make up for what they did. I gave him a pat on the head. Meow. Woof. You seem nice, big sis Sarah. I'm okay trusting you. Meow. But big sis? Huh? It's not big bro, is it? Woof. I got it all wrong, meow. That's not the problem. Well, brother, I wonder if you talk to me like that. Well, then, should I introduce myself, too? My name's So Hiori. Or, well, just a job hopper. Ha <laughs> <sighs> To living hand to hand? Meow. Uh, hey, don't put it like that. It's not a ton, but I've got savings. Why wouldn't you introduce yourself at first? Naturally, I was wary like Joe was. Plus, saying I'm a job hopper, it's a little embarrassing. 
<laughs> Just make up some lime, meow. You're honest to a fault. Woof. Hey, now, I don't know about that. You can't trust people like that, right? Always smiling. Seems kind or maybe more timid. Uh, come on now. Don't look at me so pitifully. Miss Sarah, you seem steadfast and strong. I'm jealous. I wanted to ask something. I'm reaching for arriving. Gosh, feels like you're asking in such a first things first way. I was on the way to my usual part time job at the convenience store. It's a bad part of town, and I was aware of how dangerous it can be out at night. But the night shift wages are good, so. Suddenly, someone attacked me. Can't remember what happened then. Uh, sorry, I can't remember anything much. <sighs> Shit. Well, neither can we. Right. Don't sweat it. Once you get home, go find a job. Meow. Ugh, job hunting. Steady work. Looks like he's being crushed under not only the immediate fear, but an uncertain future. I talked to everybody. I know I did. Oh, let's talk to the little girl again. Are you Okay. You calm down, could you talk to me? Um, I'll say, I'm Kana Kazuchi. She's able to talk now? Kana, could you tell me more about yourself? Okay. Uh, I'm in middle school, and, um, uh, it's okay, you don't need to rush. I was coming home with my big sister, we were eating ice cream. We were just walking along and talking about what to have for dinner. Suddenly some carry people came out from a black car and parked on the road. I see, that must have been frightening. Yes. Her sister. What she just said made it sound like both of them were kidnapped, but there's only Kana here. You weren't with your sister? With her. I was with her. Sister. My sister. Uh. Ah! Uh! I might have made a wrong choice. <laughs> ah! He's dead. My sister. Why? How? My fa oh, God. What the fuck is going on, bro? Sarah, how's kind of looking? Looks like she passed out. Damn it, this is the messed up shit. She died? What the hell did this poor girl do, huh? Is that culprit and even got a heart? Seems like this isn't some joke or prank. I, I don't like this. It's too awful just to... Hey now, everybody, don't lose your cool. You got your friendly policeman here. Hey, Kaiji, you're the reliable one here. What should we do? You sure changed your tune. First things first, why don't we confirm what each of us has found in this place? That sounds like a good plan. That's just what I was thinking of saying. See, I picked up this thing. It's a huge box. Meow. Bet you could fit a whole watermelon in there. Yeah, probably. Why would you want to, though? Is my question. <laughs> was this from the first trial? Yep. Though, I mean, bringing this box was the point of the first trial. Say what? Did some people have different first trials? We can discuss that later. First off, let's open this box. It ain't gonna. It's got the keyhole, see? Sarah, do you have any ideas? What, me? I just like catching you off guard. That's a lousy reason. <laughs> Use key attack. The key perfectly fit in the hole. There are three keyholes, which means... Can we use our key, too? Let's try it. Oh, I wonder if Kana... 
Took a red key from Kana's clothes. It's not whittled down, but I'll give it a shot. The other two keys also fit perfectly. Alright, this might be dangerous, so leave it to a policeman. And it's open. What's inside? Uh, you might not want to look. Fortunately, I saw it before Kaiju could speak. Inside was... Holy shit. What? <laughs> no! For, for real? Wait, isn't it just a doll? Huh? Oh, you're right. Hmm, a letter? Find my body, bring me back, for I don't have arms or legs. Find her body? Where could the body be? Do we even need to find it? Meow! This could be a trap. Woof! That's true. I don't think there's any need to do what the letter says. I think it's about time we search outside of this room. Eh, isn't that dangerous? I want to get back home. Can't stand to just sit, sit, sit still here. Let, let's move in groups. So that no one does anything suspicious, right? Wouldn't that be better if we all stuck together? Then nobody could do anything suspicious because there was no separation. Sniff, I'm scared. But there's some other horrible device like the first trial. Me and now can look after Kana. If you guys in danger, haul ass back here. Well then who should I go with? Joe, someone trustworthy, someone to keep an eye on. Kai is so trainly and I can't find myself fully trusting this KG. Hey Miss Sarah, can we search together? I don't trust this guy at all, because he was the silhouette at the beginning of the game that told me how majority votes worked. Sorry, if you can't trust me, that's fine. It's not anything like that, just... Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I trust you too, Miss Sarah. Looking around though, like, trust just makes you look suspicious, huh? No, no. It's not like I can really distrust you, so... I fucking can! Fuck this guy. Alright, let's get a searching around. Don't have any big spills, guys. And be sure to share any info you find. Alright, Miss Sarah, should we go? The first trial, a doll head and a body. Let's try to find some kind of clue. I've definitely been playing this game for more than 26 fucking minutes. Alright, everybody. That's the first episode of Your Turn to Die. Find out next time what's going on. Who stole us? Why they do it? Find out in the next exciting installment of... The Riley stream, your turn to die. Good.